Hello everyone, this is Jazz from LifePad Doc and welcome to my channel. On this channel, you will find some skincare information and product reviews. So today we are going to talk about this sunscreen from Aveen. This is Aveen Intense Protect SPF 50 Plus. This sunscreen has been on the market from quite some time and I also have a written review of this on my blog if you want to check that out. So this sunscreen has a new innovative UV filter which can protect our skin not only from UVA, UVB rays but also from high energy visible light which is referred to as blue light. Before we talk more about this sunscreen, let's briefly talk about visible light and where it comes from. So sun emits three main types of radiation. The first one is infrared radiation which we perceive as heat. The second is visible light which we see as daylight and third are UV rays. So let's see how these different rays fall on a spectrum. So from 100 to 400 nanometers of wavelength, it's UV rays. From 400 to 700 nanometer of wavelength, it's visible light. Now in this range, there is a range from 400 to 500 nanometer, which is blue and violet light. And this is what is called as high energy visible light. From 700 nanometer and up, it's infrared radiation, which we perceive as heat. So UVB rays mainly affect the top layer of the skin which is called as epidermis. It can cause sunburn, direct DNA damage and skin cancers. UVA rays can penetrate deeper into the skin and these can lead to formation of free radicals and oxidative stress in the skin and indirect DNA damage. High energy visible light can penetrate even deeper into the dermis and can affect hypodermis as well. And this can lead to formation of free radicals, oxidative stress in the skin, arrhythmia or redness, premature aging, and hyperpigmentation. Now, high energy visible light can lead to sustained hyperpigmentation, meaning it takes a lot longer to fade as compared to hyperpigmentation caused by UV rays. This is especially seen in people with darker skin tones or Fitzpatrick type 4 to 6 uh, types. So now let's move on to the most important aspect of a sunscreen and that's the ingredients. So this sunscreen has four UV filters and all these are new generation. Uh, the first one is diethyl amino hydroxy benzoyl hexyl benzoate which is uvinol A+. Second is ethyl hexyl triazone which is uvinol T150. Third is phenylene bis diphenyl triazine which is triazorb the new sunscreen active. And fourth is bis-ethyl hexyl oxyphenol methoxyphenyl triazine, which is tinozob S. Oh my god, they all sound like tongue twisters. Other than that, this sunscreen is free of added fragrance and silicones. It does have a red dye in it and I think that is what gives it a light beige color. So if you are allergic to dyes, uh, make sure to patch test this sunscreen on a small area before using it. Now let me show you how these different UV filters can protect our skin. So UVinol T150 can protect our skin from UVB rays. UVinol A plus can protect our skin from UVA1 and A2 rays. Tinosorb S is a broad spectrum sunscreen filter and can protect our skin from both UVA and UVB rays. Whereas uh, Triazorb, the new sunscreen filter can protect our skin from UVA rays. UVB rays and the protection extends to the high energy visible light region. Now as I talked before, high energy visible light region extends from 400 to 500 nanometer of wavelength. Triazorb can protect our skin from 400 to 450 nanometers of wavelength. After that, the protection it provides decreases. So the other ingredient I can think of which can provide us protection from high energy visible light region which can extend through the entire spectrum are iron oxides. So you can add a tinted product in your routine to get that benefit. So this is a study which talks about uh, triazorb, how it can protect our skin from different wavelengths of light. Uh, so I will leave a link to this article in my blog and on my YouTube channel for you guys to read it later if interested. So now let's move on to look at some other details about this sunscreen. So this sunscreen comes in a tube packaging of 150 mils. 
So you get a lot of product for the price. Now the price will vary um, according to where you buy this sunscreen from, anywhere from you know $13 to $24. So on their packaging, they do highlight Triazob and that it protects from high energy visible light. In addition, they say their sunscreen is reef safe. Uh, this sunscreen also has UVA circle seal, which means that the UVA protection factor is at least one third of their SPF. So one thing I don't like about the packaging is the lid. Every time I use this sunscreen, the lid gets soiled and I have to wipe it or clean it. Not a big deal though. So let's see how it looks on the skin. So this comes out as a lotion, like a thick emollient lotion. It's light beige in color. Once you start rubbing it on your skin, it kind of turns white and it takes a while to get completely absorbed into the skin. Now the brand claims that uh, it takes three seconds to absorb, but that didn't happen on my skin at least. So after you uh, rub it in completely, it leaves a shiny finish and it's greasy to touch. It almost feels like uh, as if you have applied a thick oil on your skin. In addition, it transfers to everything your face or your skin comes in contact with. It did not cause any burning or any any irritation when I applied it on my skin but as the day went by it trapped more and more heat and my skin was more red by the end of the day. However, it did not irritate my eyes in any ways. So now let me show you how it looked on my skin. So in this picture you can see uh, on one half of my face I have the sunscreen on and on the other half there is no sunscreen. Uh, this sunscreen does leave a greasy shiny finish and there is a tiny bit of white cast. With first application, uh, it's fine, it's not a big deal. However, uh, as you can see in this picture with the reapplication, the greasiness, the shininess, it increases and the white cast also becomes very obvious. In addition, when you try to reapply the sunscreen, the second layer does not want to get absorbed into the skin. It takes a lot longer to rub that layer into the skin. Now the other thing I want to mention is the removal of this sunscreen. This is a very tenacious sunscreen and my usual water-based cleansers did not take it off completely. So I paired it with an oil-based cleanser to take it off completely. So overall, I would say that this sunscreen did not fit well with my skin needs. So who will be it good for? You know, someone with dry to very dry skin, damaged skin barrier, someone who cannot tolerate the previous um, UV filters, or someone who wants to do a lot of water sports or go on a run or a hike. It may not work well for someone with darker skin tone or someone who has combination to oily skin. So that is all for this sunscreen. If you have used this sunscreen, please Share your experience in the comments below. So let me talk briefly about my upcoming reviews. So I got these two new sunscreens from Aveen. They both have triazorb in them. One is a tinted product which is meant for acne prone skin and the second is the fluid version which is meant for normal to combination skin. So I have been using these products for over three weeks now so I should be ready with the reviews very soon. So stay tuned for the future reviews on the sunscreen. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and stay connected by subscribing. Thanks for watching.